Morning PBO Squizzle, it's your boy Super Sun, and I am back again with another video. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, it's time to get the music installed in the Caprice. And first things first, Daddy Duty's call. But uh, John sent me a picture of the box that he built for the 15s. And man, I must say, the box is, <laughs> first of all, it's huge. But second of all, it looks phenomenal i didn't do nothing too crazy i didn't want nothing fancy just a plain simple slot ported box for 215s that's gonna fit in the trunk and man he killed it so later on in the afternoon we're gonna go grab that and we, we just go go from there but we turn it up man i'm telling you we are this much closer to getting the wheels installed and all the music put in, I can't wait. I cannot wait, I am so excited. So make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on all post notification so you get notified every time your boy posts a video because you know what? This summer is gonna be one of them summers. Peace. Alrighty, PPO Squizzle. Stepping away for a little bit. Had to make sure the little one was all settled in and everything before I took off. So yeah, daddy duties, the uh, Casey, she she always gets strep throat. So she is getting her tonsils and abnoids removed currently. So that's why when I said daddy duties, that's what I meant. So going to pick up the speaker box and I'll be back up here. PVO squizzle. Yeah, a few hours has passed. Baby girl is at home, doing good, feeling good. Medicine, uh, liquid it all up. But picked up the box and it looks phenomenal in the trunk. <laughs> I can't wait. Let's go. Sheesh. Slot poured. Got those two big 15s right there. Still got room on this side, on that side, and in the back, back, back there. Y'all can't see it, but we got room back there. But yes, sir, this is this, this is the setup. I'm going to, so I don't know if you guys know, but in the back, it's like a little hump right there, and the box is currently sitting on top of that. So I'ma probably get some wood and have this sitting up just so it's leveled and not facing down. But yes, sir, this is it. This is it. Oh, there you go. So I got the room in the back. And that's where the that's where the amps are gonna go, the high amp and the bass amp. And then the the spare battery is gonna be on this side. But yep, this is it. And of course I'ma mount it all down and that so when I'm swerving in traffic 
the box won't be swerving right with me and it'll stay in one place. But now that we got the box, now it is time to officially look into a base app that could push these speakers on one ohm because I am trying to go bananas. Any car show I pull up to, any car meet I pull up to, you're gonna feel me before you see me and you're gonna hear me before you feel me. What? I said you're gonna feel me before you hear me and you're gonna, wait, what'd I say? I can't, look, I didn't messed up. I can't even say it again. You go feel me before you hear me and you go see me before you hear me. I don't know what I said. I'm a double back, but that's that man. I'm coming hard. I am coming hard. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in a few days. Once I drop this off at uh, the shop to get everything installed. Peace. Alrighty, PBO Squizzle, a few days have passed and I got some tricks up my sleeve. I got these tweeters from when uh, the music was in store. These are the speakers that pretty much came out the dash. And I also have a battery tie down kit. So when I do put the, the extra battery in the trunk, I'm gonna mount it down to the body instead of just having them build me straps. Cause remember last time we took this car to today's shop they drilled through the body into the gas tank and had gas leaking when I did the uh, the track takeover event. But I'm going to put those tweeters in the grill so you can hear me coming. And the battery tie down kit will go in the trunk and I'll show you guys real soon. Alrighty, so these will just pretty much go here to where you really won't be able to see it but you'll be able to hear me uh, i have zip ties so i'm gonna just zip tie the bottom and the top one on each side and then i'll show you guys the battery tie down kit and how i'm going to install it all righty and just like that got the tweeters in the grill one right there and one right there all zip tied in two zip ties a piece you really can't even see it. You wouldn't even know it's there until I turn them on and you hear them. All right, so with the battery relocation kit in the trunk, this is a aluminum bracket for the, of course, yellow top Optima that I have to buy. So since this will be bolted inside the trunk, I'm going to have to drill holes inside the trunk here, here, here and here and I not lose nothing and I got these bolts to where uh, it's gonna go through there go through the body and then underneath the body I have this nut that I'm gonna be screwing on just to secure this and make sure that it doesn't slide around or anything and then these three posts goes they stand this tall and then this bracket goes on top and then here's the nuts that just ties everything down so let me go ahead and go to the trunk and show you guys how i will be putting this Alrighty, got the phenomenal box but we're not talking about that right now so let me move all that get the hardware and i have two different sizes hardware not too much of a difference but a difference enough to show I'm still unsure which one I'm going to use I, uh, I will find that out once we drill the holes but of course I'm gonna have to take the box out and this will pretty much set over here in the corner and I need to like I said drill holes so so remove the uh, remove the carpet drill a hole 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 tie it down and then everything else would pretty much fall into place so that's gonna stay here because unfortunately i have work tonight but i'm off tomorrow so so i will try to get to it tomorrow 
I'll bring the tools I need to drill the holes home and pretty much get to it first thing in the morning because I want to do everything the proper way and the correct way this time instead of just drilling drilling holes in the body with some raggedy tie down straps so this is actually a battery the tie down kit for the uh, optima battery any optima battery really don't matter but i i prefer the yellow top optima battery when putting base in the trunk just so it has its own battery it's not pulling any energy from the battery under the hood or the alternator and it lasts hell of a lot longer so uh getting ready for work i shall see you guys in the morning peace I also found these six by nines that I was running in store with the old Alpine. When I took the dash out the car and everything, I did not grab the harness for this. So I need to see if I could find a harness, a universal harness or something. So I could run that. And these are six by nines that will go in the rear deck lid of the car. I don't know if I'm just gonna install these or if I'm gonna add them, have them cut the hole, but most likely I'll just add those and then just buy four by sixes for the door but yeah dvo squad your boy is home from work and hey we jumping straight into the video all righty pbo squad got the box out and let's move this carpet and get to the bare trunk ground all righty bare floor and just going to be drilling holes i could drill through the carpet but uh going to be drilling there let's get up under here make sure that there is no wires or anything that i'll be drilling into nope it's just straight ground no wires the gas tank I just need to make sure I'm over far enough to where I'm not drilling into the gas tank, but that should be enough room for the battery to relocate. Hefty, hefty gas tank though, but yeah. Alrighty, let's get to it. Alrighty, first problem. Well, not problem. All right, so I got the four holes, the pilot holes drilled out. So now it's time for me to go in there with a step bit and open them up. But let's go under here. Alrighty, you see one pilot hole, you see two and then three and four. So those two bolts, I'm gonna have to find a shorter bolt and nut to install the battery tray, whatever thing you want to call it in here because the bolts I have is way too long and it's not gonna, uh, it's gonna be too long and it's gonna hit the frame, but I can install the two bolts and nuts on the outside so we'll see how sturdy that is it's not like i'm gonna be doing any donuts or or really swerving with the beat but yeah so i'm only going to install i'm only going to drill out the two holes on the outside and we'll see how sturdy it is if it's not sturdy enough and it still wobbles and moves in anything then i will uh I'll have to figure something else out. But for now, we're just going to try the two holes on the outside and go from there. Alrighty, PVO squad. We got the bracket in with just those two. And it, it kind of lifts a little. I know it's not, it's not going to tip over, but it kind of lifts a little. So I need to, one, try to tighten those. Or two see if i could somehow some way get into the uh get into the frame of the car but those are on they should be tight enough i'm gonna have to go get some 13 ratchets ratchet set so i could extra tighten it 
but yeah. Uh, or I could drill into the frame and see if I could just shoot this down in there. And hopefully I didn't drill the hole too big. So it might, I might be able to. Let me, let me try some things and I'll, I'll pull you guys back up. Oh, PBO squad, I did it. I did it. I was able to get all four bolts in and tighten down, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Can y'all see it? Y'all see the battery tight down? Let's go. This thing ain't going nowhere. Yes, sir. So these two bolts have nuts on them. These two bolts, I was able to drill through the floor into the frame, but I didn't drill super big. I drilled just enough to where the, I don't know if you could see the head of these studs. They're kind, they're kind of rounded off. And then that's when the threading start. Let me show you, hold on. Can you see that? Yep. So I built, uh, I drilled the hole just big enough to where the tip would fit in the hole of the frame. And I pressed down and pretty much tapped the hole that I drilled and I was able to uh, drill straight into the frame and they tightened down. As you can see me pulling on it and everything, this thing isn't going anywhere. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, PVL squad, let me go ahead and clean this up, put this box back in the trunk, and we should be headed to drop the car off to get the adjustable trailing upper and lower arms put on so we could kick that wheel back and we could go from there. So, alrighty, PVL squad, I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Alrighty, we have the battery tie down all installed and sitting aside, now, like I said, let's clean this up, put the box back in and let's see how much room we got from the side to the box. Alrighty, PPO squad, this is exactly where the box is going to sit. I still have room on that side and yet perfectly placed. Oh yeah, perfectly placed. And that's where the battery will be and the wires will be in the back, both amps in the back. Man, I got a creative mind a little bit. Just a little bit though, not too crazy. But I still need to buy some two by fours and put it underneath the box so the box is pretty much flat and not facing downward like it is now. As you all know, like I previously said, there's a hump where the spare tire was so right now the speakers are facing downward but if i was to just pick it up like that it'll be equal and leveled so yeah all righty the box is leveled i found uh well i didn't find i had a two by four in my storage and all i did was lift the box up and set it on top and now the box is 100% leveled all the way across. Oh yeah, this thing is about to go crazy. Alrighty, PVO Squizzle. This is the end of the video. I know I was all over the place. I got a little bit of everything done in it. And hey, we just go keep turning up and going up from here. Made the appointment to get the adjustable trailing arms installed. And after that, we are dropping the car off to get all the music installed, highs and bass, and we turn it up from there. But even after installing the trailing arms, I'm still not going to put the wheels on just yet. I want to change the front rotors and brakes. I want to paint the calipers, paint the rear drum, and then that's when I will be putting the 26s on the Caprice. So with that being said, I want to say PVO squad, this is the end of the video. 
thank you to everybody that clicked on the video, watched it from beginning to end. I appreciate you guys more than you know. We will continue to grow and go, and you already know, baby, PBO is on the rise. And with that being said, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch me. I'm out. Peace.